Hey everyone, Sam here. So if you're here watching this video, you're likely at a point where you're trying to decide on a website builder and have probably heard about Wix. You're intrigued and now starting to kind of want to get to know how to build a website through Wix kind of step by step. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to walk through here, um, just from some basic things about Wix, plans, signing up, templates, adding, editing, or removing text, images, sections, contact forms, and more. And of course, optimizing for SEO, the SEO wizard, and then some final options between domains, apps, and dashboards. Safe to say there are a lot of features in Wix, and I can show you the most important ones, but practice truly does make perfect. So there is a link in the caption for Wix if you wanna try it for yourself and kind of follow along with me. So basically just kind of walking you through from beginning to end the process of kind of building a website on Wix. So just kind of starting here at the homepage, there's plenty of options for what you need um, in a website for whether that be kind of a restaurant or a blog or a portfolio and kind of more options. And it's nice because as we get further into this walkthrough, you'll notice you can choose templates kind of based off what you need it for and kind of what your business is built around. Anyways, so as far as pricing and plans kind of go, uh, Wix is a great option because they do actually have a free plan where you can kind of test the waters of sorts um, with the interface and the tools and actually build a fully functioning website for yourself uh, without paying for anything. Of course, you'll still have that lovely Wix branding that everyone loves, um, but it's worth at least trying. Um, so kind of anyways, you know, as far as the plans go, it goes from light to core to business to business elite and then enterprise. Um, prices are kind of corresponding here. Uh, the higher plan, as the higher plan goes, um, the more features and storage space you essentially get. So kind of depending on what you're needing uh, the website for, could be as cheap as $16 per month or all the way up to $159 per month, kind of depending if you need all the features uh, at their highest performance. And this is also where the free plan can really come in handy, uh, where you can kind of build uh, a site, then see what you need from there and upgrade kind of accordingly. All right, so on to actually creating your account. Um, you'll hit get started up here in the right hand corner. Um, and it'll take you to kind of the simple sign up page where you can input your own info or use Google or Facebook to sign up. So I will just input some info right here and kind of hide it for uh, privacy purposes, of course. So now it'll take you to kind of this simple prompt right here, kind of who are you creating this website for? Like for myself, my business, or a friend, or for a client as a freelancer or an agency? So kind of are you making it for yourself or someone else? And uh, for examples purposes, we'll just put, we're putting it kind of making it for myself and kind of a hypothetical business scenario. Now it actually looks like you can use AI to kind of set your profile up right away where I assume you just kind of give a description of stuff you're looking for um, and it'll spit some ideas back at you. Um, now for this example and kind of example's purpose, I'm just gonna manually kind of walk through this setup um, in case you kind of want that more personal touch of, touch of building your own website. So we'll go ahead and click setup without AI. Now, what type of website do you wanna create? Like an online store, a portfolio, a blog, a consultant, kind of a bunch of different uh, examples or ideas. But for this example, I think I'm just gonna do some type of photography portfolio as kind of my website that I wanna build out. Um, just as a place where you know I could add my images, a bit about me for clients and references, right? So we'll go ahead and top or type in photography, and it looks like photography portfolio comes up right here. So we'll go ahead and click that, and we'll hit continue. So as it was preparing my dashboard, it did pop up kind of with a few prompts here. Uh, what would you like to call your website? Um, and this is kind of where you can name your website, whatever you want. Obviously you can change this later on, but for this one, how about we use Sam's photography business? And then of course here you can actually kind of choose uh, the apps you'd like to add, whether you want obviously a photo portfolio, which is likely what I'll choose, but also kind of adding events or even Instagram posts. And who knows, maybe I'll even add kind of an, uh, a video option because you know, if I do photo, maybe I do video too. So we'll go ahead and click on all of those. All right, we are all set. Let's go ahead and continue to the dashboard here. Now just kind of a really quick walkthrough of the dashboard. You'll see everything on the side over here from kind of like setup to home to site and app, uh, and then specifically to kind of like your portfolio and bookings, uh, to contacts, to marketing and SEO, 
um, and then analytics as well. Now here on this home page, Wix actually kind of sets you up with a checklist of sorts, um, kind of like connecting a custom domain, adding a service, creating your first event, um, designing your website, and then of course, getting found on Google, AKA the SEO sorts of things. Now, all of these are great, and of course you wanna optimize your site for you know whatever you're doing with your business, but for this example, I will walk through kind of designing your website first, so we'll go ahead and click on design site. Now, clicking on design website, it will give you two options, kind of using the site builder and let Wix kind of create a site for you, or you can customize a template. And for this example, let's go ahead and take a look at the templates that they kind of offer, especially um, kind of for a photography portfolio. And now since I gave those directives of a photography portfolio, Wix already has some set template results for me. Um, and let's just scroll down through these and kind of see what they have to offer. Um, there's obviously a lot here from family photographers, um, looks like some travel options, landscape, more family, fashion, and it kind of tailors depending on what kind of photography you're doing it looks like to the templates that they offer, which is a really cool feature. Now, honestly, I kind of like this one here. Um, it just seems simplistic, has some socials on the front, it looks like, name, photo carousel. So let's pick this one right here, but before we actually edit it, let's just view it and kind of make sure it's actually what I want. Yeah, looks like it has name up here, portfolio. Looks like it has some images that kind of blend into each other, like a three-point carousel. Um, so this is probably where I put, you know, my, my best images to kind of showcase the work before people start diving into my website. You got the three bars up here kind of going through urban people, nature, video, albums, about me, blog, um, just kind of anything that you want on your website. You can add pages for that and customize them. And then of course you have contact info at the bottom and socials at the bottom as well. I do like this one. So let's go ahead and choose this template and click edit this site. Um, and kind of walk through some of the features within Wix's builder. And again, you could let AI write your site content between details and name of site and generate the text. And I'm gonna go against that right now, but it is an option. So it's pretty cool to see that Wix is actually trying to adopt uh, AI in ways that it can at least. Now, just a basic walkthrough before we start kind of editing some of the features here. Um, over to the left, you've got elements like text, images, buttons, uh, strips from gallery, and a ton more options. Um, you can add section, add pages, uh, and menu, site design, where you can kind of change the color, theme, background. Um, yeah, app market, where you can add apps. Um, man, of course your business with like bookings, blogs, uh, payments, photos, and more. Um, and then media and stuff as well, where you can kind of add your own social links, videos, and more. Up top here at the left are your pages where you can drop them down and edit between the pages. Uh, you can connect your domain up top. And if not, like I said, you'll get that Wix branding. And then of course, they'll put the upgrade option up here as well, uh, kind of when you're ready to take that next step. So let's start editing and let's start with this home page, right? Kind of top here, uh, name and portfolio. Um, obviously it's not my name, but I do kind of like the portfolio underneath, but let's just edit some simple text. Um, so you're gonna double click in here and this is where you can just kind of add your name and you can do different between uh, font size, fonts, style to it, bold, italicize, underline, indentations, kind of effects and animations. You can really do all you kind of want to uh, to the text up here. But obviously since it's a template, I'm probably just gonna keep it the same because I liked how it looked. Um, but that customization option is there. So let's go ahead and write my name up here. Boom, text edited. And it's really nice interface to edit text, kind of animations and more. And honestly, that's kind of something I can appreciate as someone who does not have a bunch of experience building websites and coding on the back end and really like hardcore customizing. So it's nice that the builder in here is kind of a friendly interface, it's really easy to customize stuff like this. And then of course you can add kind of an anchor or a header where you have you know, your, your about section, your booking section, your FAQ section, but since we have kind of this three uh, point over here, or this three bar over here that'll kind of toggle between the pages, um, I'm probably just gonna not go ahead and do that, but it is kind of uh, a great feature if you're on a different like 
template or want to get rid of the three sidebar thing and you just want an anchor or a header. So let's kind of move down this homepage and edit the photos, right? So this is kind of like a three picture carousel where I might add in some of my own photos I've taken and I'd probably, you know, find this front page to kind of really shine with some of the best photos. Remember the first page of your website you want it to stand out, especially if you're a photographer, I imagine you get kind of one impression. So if I were a photographer in this template, these would probably be some of my best photos. And so I do have a few, I'll add that, um, kind of a couple that I took of a car and maybe a product photo I took. So again, you want to double click in here um, and it'll show you kind of all the slides here, slide one, slide two, slide three. And of course, if you want to change the image on each one of these, you'll kind of have to go one by one and you can see which one you're on over here to the right. But you'll want to hit change slide background and then you'll want to go to image over here. And then of course you can upload your media, um, kind of choose between Shutterstock, Unsplash. There's a bunch of different options if you want to upload that thing, uh, things that aren't yours. Um, but you will want to upload media from your device if you have images that you want shown on your own website. So we have the first slides image here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click change background and then you'll notice it changes first on the right here and then of course it'll change again right here. So you'll go to slide two, kind of do the same thing, uh, change slide background, you'll hit image, you'll upload media, you'll upload from your computer, you'll grab an image, put it in there, and that does take a second, just kind of depending on how big the file size is as well, um, to upload from your computer into Wix. All right, looks like it's uploaded. Awesome. We'll hit change background. You'll see the change on the right. And then, of course, on the big one, slide three of three, same exact thing here, here, upload, upload, choose one. And then, of course, wait for it to upload. Hit change background and you don't notice the changes. So now, as you can kind of see, there are three images in here that of course I took, so there's no reason for you know copyright or anything, but you can add three images here. And now the carousel looks a little better, can showcase you know whether you want car or product or kind of whatever your business is tailoring to. And you can make this carousel uh, with a five photo carousel, you can make it with six or two or just one, um, just whatever by adding another slide. Um, but I'm just gonna keep it for three right now. And we'll just kind of move to the bottom. Of course, you can change the contact information between whether you want your blog on here, that might be an external site, or you want your email here, telephone, and then of course, updating the links uh, between your socials, whether you have X or Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or kind of whatever you want on this homepage. So let's go ahead and look at a preview of what it'll look like without all these dotted lines and customization and stuff in here. So let's go ahead and click preview. It'll take a second. And this is what it's gonna look like, essentially. Um, you've got the three images here that are kind of blending together. Um, you know, between three photos I uploaded. And then of course you have your contact info and socials at the bottom. Now I'm not gonna do this for every single page here, but let's kind of do some page management here, right? So this drop down up here, like I said, you can kind of manage your pages and kind of manage the orders. Um, maybe I have a home page. maybe I want car photos, maybe I want travel photos or product photos, or maybe I wanna do it all by location on different like trips that I've gone on if you're a travel photographer. Um, all in all, this is kind of how you organize your orders and renaming stuff. So let's go ahead and put uh, cars. Let's rename this one to travel, travel, and let's rename this one to products. And that's kind of how you can customize your pages. And then of course you'll have to go into each page like you can see over here, it's been changing. Uh, change the titles, change the images, kind of whatever you wanna put in each page. And now in each of these pages, there can obviously be different like types of content or services, or maybe you want a booking page um, and more. And this is where kind of the elements aspect of things can kind of come in handy for sections or payments or stores and more. And it would take way too much time to go through each of these, but this is where you can kind of toy around on your own um, in the link in the caption while building your site. So let's go ahead and just save the page. Um, not publish yet because I don't want to do that just yet. Now that's a lot of the editor and customizing the pages and honestly just kind of messing around with the site tools themselves and how your website wants to look. Uh, that'll be very case specific, business specific, um, kind of however you want your site 
to look, to offer, uh, whatever. But if there's one thing we all want to do, it's rank higher in Google. So let's talk SEO. Let's go back to the dashboard. So back to the dashboard, marketing and SEO, um, checklist, profile, kind of Google analytics, Google ads, Facebook and Instagram ads, email marketing, social media marketing, coupons. There's kind of a marketing essentials uh, checklist up here as well. There are a lot of tools so you can make sure that your website on Wix is optimized to its fullest ability. So for now, let's go to this SEO checklist and just kind of see where we can get some quick wins, kind of where we can approve. And obviously, um, you'll just answer a few questions to kind of get started, kind of what you wanna do. Obviously, what's this business's brand or name, uh, businesses or brand name, uh, Sam's Photography Business. We'll hit that, we'll go next. Uh, where is this business service customers? It's really trying to find if you're more online service or if you're kind of a physical address with a location. I'm sure it'll kind of tweak things to make sure that you know you have your address on there. But for now, let's just do online. And then which keywords do you want to use? And obviously you can get keywords down here like keyword ideas and kind of find high performing keywords in your business niche so you can best rank. But for now, I didn't do any research for this. So we'll just do photography videography, uh, car photography, travel photography, and photos. And that seems good enough. We'll hit next. Awesome. Now you've kind of inputted that information. Uh, it'll kind of go through step one, step two, and step three, kind of getting your homepage ready for Google search, optimizing your individual site pages, and then of course, kind of keep progressing with the site's SEO and just maintenance. So anything from setting the homepage title for search results, um, adding text to the homepage, connecting this to a custom domain, of course, you'll probably have to upgrade to a premium uh, plan, but that option is there. But all in all, this left side over here between S SEO and website will kind of be your guiding light once your website is set up and customized um, between automations, contacts, um, websites, and overviews. And then of course, below all this, you have kind of your inbox, your customers and leads, you have your marketing, and then you have your analytics going from you know traffic overview, sales overview, kind of any insights, and then kind of any real-time traffic that are coming to your website. And then of course, I will hit on this again, but last but not least, uh, really deciding what and when you decide to upgrade is very important. So you can spend a month or two kind of designing your website for free, uh, getting a hang of things, so you don't have to pay for those months, uh, depending kind of like how intensive your site is, uh, how much storage you need, but then you can upgrade and kind of get that free domain, uh, get rid of that Wix branding, get some more tools um, and some more storage. So now I know this was a lot to cover and a lot that probably wasn't covered between you know all the things you can do when you upgrade plans, uh, backend coding and more, but this step-by-step -step kind of walkthrough hopefully gave you a good starting point of beginning to end from signing up to choosing a template, uh, editing with tools, elements and page organization and kind of the actual building of your site and then fine tuning with the SEO and analytics and maybe upgrading later on once you've had a really solid baseline of kind of how Wix works and what you need in kind of a premium plan. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.